and transcend this one. Wait for the Lord, be strong, be stout hearted and wait for the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people Sarah, serpents, which bit people so, so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole, and whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. The nations sh shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has revealed Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height, from heaven he beheld the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. 
O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away, and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, he is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, and will die in your sin. you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in the condemnation. But the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, today Jesus continues his conversation with Pharisees. And what he wants to tell them that he is the one who is sent by the Father for the salvation of the world. For this reason, he uses to show who he is, he uses the word saying that I am, that I am. I am is the name God revealed to Moses in the burning bush. When God called Moses to go to, the East, uh, to Egypt to save the Israelites from the slavery. And he said, my name is I am, I am sent you. And Jesus Christ uses the same words to reveal it to the Pharisees, to the people at his time. But many did not believe. Many did not believe because they thought Jesus is someone who claims to be a prophet or one who is the son of uh, Joseph the carpenter. But uh, truly they did not see who Christ was. And Christ constantly reveals himself. You know, the book of uh, the Gospel of John is divided into three parts. The first one is the prologue. The second one is the book of uh, sign and the third one is the book of glory you know these three books are divided divided in the gospel of john and now we are still reading from the book of signs and the book of signs constantly jesus christ reveals himself saying that i am he or i am no, i am the bread of life i am the one who was sent by the father and many wanted to crucify him and they did not see what is the mission of christ uh, many times we can be blinded. You know, be, many times we can use our reason when Christ sent, when God sends prophets in our life, when the Lord sends events in our life, and we will not able to recognize because we use many times the, our reason, saying our reason can bring us to salvation. Our reason is the one which can save us. You know, the same thing happened to the people of Israelites. In the book of Numbers, what we heard in the first reading today. You know, one, at one point, the people of Israel were tired. They were in the desert. As you, if you have an experience of being in the desert, you know there is no life. And this is what the people of Israel thought. There is no life. 
no i don't see a life there is no water there is no food what i am going to do i am going to die they forgot what god does they forgot that how god has brought them out of the egypt they forgot how god had opened the red sea for them they forgot how god had given them water from the rock and now they are complaining they are grumbling and god loses his patience and sends them this serpent a small serpent and tells them uh, and and when the people of israel realize they go to moses to you know, help us intercede for us help us and when moses intercedes god gives him a simple thing to do to raise a bronze serpent on a pole and whoever looks at this serpent will be saved and many of them died because they thought it is something silly if a serpent is bitten me there is a poison within me it can kill me the poison how is it possible that just looking at this pole where there is a bronze serpent can save me many use their reason and experience the death but those who believe who saw this something can be say something silly something which can be out of reason they looked at this uh, serpent they were saved and today this is the promise what christ is giving to us today also there is one who is lifted on a, on this cross jesus christ if you or me are beaten by the sin beaten by the world beaten by our own anxiety and we are looking there is no hope the only one thing i can see today is that look up to christ look up to christ who is there for you and for me who from whom comes the salvation who oh, christ himself says when you lift up the son of man then you will realize that i am and that i do nothing on my own but i say only what the father taught me and christ was lifted up on the cross for your salvation and my salvation and today he is there for for you and for me too if we have looking at ourselves if we are looking at our own weakness and our own struggles there will be no one to take us out let us raise our eyes to christ believe in the gospel believe that christ has the power to bring you and me out of this death in the death when i compare say that i don't only mean the death which we will uh, we, which you and me will have one day but the death every day we experience a ontological death a death when we experience a failure a death when we experience a rejection death when we cannot carry the cross when the death when we experience a suffering you know, a sickness a illness when there is no answer you know, instead of looking at ourselves let us look at the christ who is there interceding for you and for me like moses interceded for the people of israel christ is there in front of the father showing his own father i have shed my blood for this brother i have shed my blood for this sister help me save me bring him out of his sin huh? so i invite you brothers and sisters today let us not be let us not continue our life unbelieving but let us believe on the one who lifted up himself for us for our salvation we should pour forth prayers at all times dear brothers and sisters but above all in these days of lent we want to watch more intently with christ and direct our petition more fervently to god lord we pray for the holy mother church for pope francis for our uh, bishop edward and uh, also for all the bishops of the world for the priest for the religious for the, all the holy people of god that you be with us during this time that we may trust in you we may look to you in times of suffering in times of struggle for this we pray lord hear our prayer 
Lord, we pray for the leaders of the world, especially for the leaders of this country, that you grant them your Holy Spirit and wisdom to make the decisions which protect life from conception to natural death. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, especially in this time, those who are suffering with, uh, with this pandemic, for those who are alone, for those who have nobody to take care of them. Lord, you be with them, send them the prophets who can announce to them the love of God today. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all of us, especially the community of St. Mark, that you grant us your Holy Spirit during this time to trust in you, to trust in your love, and always believe in the words you have sent to us. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our own intentions and the intentions of others. For this we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your people may turn to you with all their heart, so that whatever they dare to ask in fading prayer, they may receive by your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacri the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we are claimed. Holy, holy, holy is, is the Lord. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the high. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the high. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion and Antiphon When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Prayer to make a spiritual communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already dead and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your life. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snags of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of heavenly hosts, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits whom, who roam throughout the world seeking the ruins of souls. Amen.